What's going on, everyone? So I had a few more minutes to spare, and I figured I'd go over uh, I'd go over a few things with damage calculation on Bleach Brave Souls. There's going to be a lot of math in this video. I apologize out of the gate because it's about to get a bit mathy up in here. But I wanted to talk about this because I see a lot of uh, comments on my top tens are like, "Oh, how could you put this person here? They have flurry on Mind." I saw that a lot in top ten Mind. I saw, "How could you put Saji not seven? He has flurry." Blah 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 blah. He has flurry. He has flurry. He should be a lot higher. Um, and this this isn't. It's not always best to have flurry. Let's just put it this way. And I kind of wanted to go over the math of the game just to show you guys that sometimes, often actually, it's better not to have flurry. Now, out of the gate, before we get started on this, don't even read up on this. This is. I'll explain it in a bit. In PvP, it will always be better to have flurry. It will always be better to have flurry in PvP. And in regular events such as like a raid, like if you go, oh, you want to hunt Rukias because you need Rukia for uh, to upgrade a character, it's always better to have Flurry because the damage output's going to be more. That is always going to be true. Um, well, there are a few exceptions, but just don't worry about the exceptions. For the most part, that's always going to be true. Now, what I want to get into is the more uh, tougher stuff in the game, like Senkaimon like inheritance zones, like droplet zones, and that's why I brought these two out of uh, of my folders here to kind of talk about them, because they're very similar characters in terms of stats. They're both mind characters, they both have uh, really high attacks, he has a 762 attack, he has 766, he has a normal attack damage link of 20, he has a normal attack damage link of 20. The only difference, the biggest difference, and they both have poise, so the biggest difference between the characters is really that this guy has a... Um, Plus, two biggest differences, some of the two big differences. This guy has a plus 50 bruiser. This guy has a flurry. That's a big difference. The other biggest difference and the part that's going to make the biggest change, the biggest uh, difference here, is the fact that he has an Aronkar killer and he has an Espada killer. And that's really what I want to talk about today. I just kind of want to go over the math and show you why sometimes it'll be better not to have flurry and instead have either a Soul Reaper, a Roncar, or Hollow Killer, depending on who you're using. So, to, to calculate that, we're going to do the uh, this equation. We're going to use this equation, which is the way the game calculates the damage dealt by the, by the characters. And that's attack minus defense multiplied by magnification. We'll get to that. Uh, times critical element, blah, 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 blah. Now, for this particular video, I decided to get rid of the random variance critical and element. Because they're both the same element. Critical is going to be roughly the same. It's like it's not going to matter too much. It matters a little bit with flurry, but not in terms of act, like high da It's not that big of a deal. So don't worry about critical element. They're both the same, and random variance is not that much. It's just so the numbers aren't always the same. So if the actual equation is going to look like this, it just it just it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, defense only really applies in PvP. So we're not even going to look at that because this is mostly a PvE video. So yeah, get rid of defense because the defense of every enemy is basically zero. With the exception of like the bosses, it's basically zero. So it's just attack times magnification. So we're going we're gonna to get into this a little bit later, but for now let's take a look at Sajin. So if we multiply Sajin's attack, which is 762, times its magnification, which in this case for Sajin, his magnification is only 20% because that's his link. It's 20% nad link. So that's that. So that's Sajin's, uh, don't worry about this number down here. It's 762 times 1.2 because 20%, that's 914. That's his total damage output for his normal attack. Because he has flurry, this number is twice, because he hits twice. So the actual number, even though you don't see it, it's 1828. Now this is without any links, this is without any accessories. Because again, since they're both uh, mind characters and captains, the act, the, any any uh, link, any anything you add is basically just going to go for, you know, it's, it's going to be the same for both of them with anything you add. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. So that's the total damage for, for Saji. For Shunsui, it's that. Because it's 766, Shunsui has a plus 50 bruiser, and he also has a normal attack damage link, which is another 20. He has a 70% bru uh, 70 normal attack damage increase, so that's 766 times 1.7. That's his damage right there, 1302. Thir uh, which is, you know, obviously less than this. Uh, 1302, 
And if he's going up against the wrong cars, it's 1562. That's how much it is. I think that's the right number I did. Hold on. Uh, 1302 times 1.2. Yeah, okay. So if he's going up against the wrong cars, it's 1562. Otherwise, it's going to be 1302. Either way, it's lower than uh, Sajin's number. So in a regular event, he's going to be better. But we're not just going to take a look at regular events because now we're going to take a look at what if they're going up against uh, Inheritance Zone. Um, yeah, Inheritance Zone. Where the killer is multiplied times three. So for Sajin, it's gonna be the same damage. It's gonna be eight, uh, yeah, 1828, unless he's going up against an Espada, in which case it's gonna be a lot higher. In fact, uh, I don't know why I did that. I can't remember what my math was for this, I apologize. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't remember what it was for this. Oh, right, 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 right. This is what his damage is against an Espada on a regular day. Um, if he's going up against an Espada in Inheritance Zone, obviously it's going to be a lot higher. I'm not even going to calculate that because it's not even worth it. Because Espadas are really only bosses, and it's only at the end. So, against an Espada on a regular day, that's his damage. On Inheritance Zone, it's obviously a lot higher, but we're just talking about regular enemies here. And that's not even going to apply. So, realistically, against Inheritance Zone, that's it. For Sajin, that's it. It's all he gets. Obviously that he would have the attribute increase, but so would Shunsui. It would be the exact same increase. It doesn't matter. So there you go. So now for, for Shunsui, it's a little bit different because his killer gets multiplied times three. So that number, it would no longer be 1562 against the wrong cars. It would now be that. It would now be 2083 per hit on the wrong cars, which is already higher than Sajin's. Against in, in droplet zones, it's gonna be that 2604. Let's put all three in comparison. Yeah, 2604 in droplet because his, his uh, killer is multiplied by five. That said, that is obviously better than Sajin's by like 800 points, um, but it's only better than Sajin against Orang cars. If he's going up against Soul Reapers, because often inheritance zones and droplet zones have two types of enemies, um, if he's going up against the other kind of enemies, it's gonna go back down to 1302 as opposed to Sajin's 1828. So against regular enemies, Sajin's gonna be uh, the better character, but against whatever he has the killer advantage on, it's gonna be 2604, it's gonna be doubled. That's why it's so important, that's why tag team characters are so good and why I always put them high up on the list, even if they're older characters. Um, and it's why I put uh, uh, Ichigo on the list, even though he's such an old character and has a much lower SP than some of the characters I didn't put on the list. is because he has two killers, so this would apply twice, at all times, if you're up against both of them, uh, if, if you have an Inheritance Zones or Droplet Zones, it has both Orang Cars and Soul Reapers, because he's good against both of them. That's why it's so important. So that's his damage output on on uh, on those enemies. Now, if he's going up against, you know, in Senkaimon, where killers are multiplied times 10, that's an even higher number, and obviously you want to take Shunsui over Sajin, because his killer does not multiply. It just doesn't. Um, now, I didn't actually calculate what his damage would be uh, on a regular... Oops, let's get rid of that. I didn't actually uh, bother to calculate what his damage would be if you increase their links, because I think it's the same, but I just want to double check. So, for the sake of the video, we're going to say that they each have an extra 60% magnification, because that's, you know, 20, 20, 20 nat link. Um, so, we're going to go with his attack, 762, 20, 20, 20 nat link plus his own, which is point, uh, point, another 20, so that's 80% magnification. Let's go ahead and figure that out. So that's uh, 762 times 1.8, bam, 1371, uh, so let's go ahead and do that, uh, times 1.8 equals, oops, equals, is that an equal sign? It's a weird equal sign, there we go. Uh, what did we say it was? Ba -ba -ba, 1371. So 1371, and then we're going to multiply 1371 times 2. So that's, that's with flurries. It's 2742 with flurries. So let's go ahead. 2742. Is that what I said? Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, so that's 2742 with flurry. Each hit would be 1371, 2742 with flurry. This is if he has normal attack links uh, as links. That's how much it would be. So you take you take his attack. It would also increase. We can do that again too if you want. If you guys want to go through that, but 
Uh, we'll see. So, okay, let's take Shunsui into consideration now. Uh, let's get rid of that. So, let's say he also has this 20-20-20 Natalinx. So, we're going to go 20-20-20, that's 60, plus his own 70, it's 130, and it's already 1, so it's 1.2, okay, okay. So, that's... Sorry about that, let's see here, that's 7... 766 times... Uh, I'm going to do this a different way. Nah. Nah, I'm not going to do it a different way. Alright, so that's 60% extra normal attack damage. I think that's 2.3. That's 1761. Is that right? Yep, that's right. Alright, so it's... What did we say? Oops. Why? Why do you betray me, Ocean? I hate the new way that Photoshop does this. It's annoying. Alright, so 766 oops, times 2.3. 3 equals... It's not an equal sign. Equals 1761. 1761. Whoops. And that's it for him. He doesn't get flurry. He doesn't get that multiplied times two. So obviously the initial hit is harder for Shunsui, but because this is multiplied times two, the actual damage output is better for Sajin instead. For um, for his normal attack though, let's see if it's if it's. Oh boy. If it's uh, if he's going up against droplet zones where the killer is times five, that would basically double, becoming times two, becoming that. Uh, so thirty-five twenty-two because it went up by one. So thirty-five twenty-two, thirty-five twenty-two. Okay, we're just gonna write that in number. Um, so against droplet zones, if he's you know if he's in droplet zones without any attack increases, this is just his normal attack uh, links. Three links of normal attacks, it would be 3522 per hit, whereas Sajin would still be 2742. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This math applies to the characters. You know, it's it sometimes is gonna be better to have a, a killer instead of flurry, to have a decent killer instead of flurry. And that's why some people don't get why I put some of these characters, uh, some flurry characters, higher up on the list. Like if I have this guy up there. I still think Sajin is better than Shunsui, don't get me wrong, because I think uh, I think most of the time this is going to be the better choice, again, the other guy's just for killer magnification, but I did want to show you guys that sometimes, you know, that is why, sometimes it's better not to have a bruiser, to have a high bruiser and a normal attack, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a killer, <laughs> I'm really tired. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's better to do that. That's why I put Sajin at like number seven or something six. I don't remember. I don't even remember at this point. Um, and that's because it's not having flurry doesn't make you an absolute, you know, absolute greatness. It doesn't. Um, that's why I, I haven't put for my uh, for my heart characters. I don't know what I'm gonna do this time because uh, epic boss raids. But that's why uh, often for my for my top ten heart characters. I put Ichigo at number one instead of, of uh, Retsu. And that's because, yes, Retsu has Flurry, but there's only so far that Flurry will take you. In Inheritance Zones and in Droplet Zones, sometimes it's better not to have Flurry. Sometimes it's better to have a high bruiser and a, gr a good link. You know, I mean, a good killer. Or even, even if you don't have bruiser, because I believe that Ichigo doesn't have a high bruiser. Sometimes it's just better to have... Uh, a better killer than a spot or a captain even if they do have flurry. I do want to do one more test though I know this video is going kind of long and my voice is actually really tired But uh, let's say your attack is multiplied times two, right? Let's say because I haven't actually done this So let's say your attack is multiplied times two That would be somewhere along the lines of 15 uh, 24, right? Double check that. Might be wrong. Probably wrong Tired, too tired for math. Um, oops, it's divided. Martin, you fool. Times two, 1524. I don't even know if that's what I said. All right, so 1524. 1524, 24, 24. Okay, so that's his attack. So let's say that's his attack and it's the same thing. He's got an attack, you know, uh, uh, his, we've increased attack by 100% and he has all normal attack damage links. So we're gonna take that number. So we're gonna go 1524. Uh, we're gonna multiply it times 1.8, whoops. Eight, and we're stop it and we're gonna get uh, let's do that times 1.8 because of his normal tech damage links that's 2743 that's a lot of damage 2743 
we go. And that's it. Well, actually, no, it's times two. So it's 2743 times two because he has... Uh, there we go. Times two. He has flurry. So in reality, that attack is going to be... We, what did we end up as? Uh, let's see, 5486. Okay, so 5486. There you go. So if you increase Sajin's attack by 100% and you have uh, two, uh, three normal attack damage links, on a regular day, it's going to be 5486, which is good. This is a good attack. Obviously, you can get the attack up to like, what, 1086 now? Uh, I'm sorry, 186%. So this is just at 100%. That's, that's a lot of damage for this character, you know? Um, and that's on, on a regular day, on a regular mission, and honestly on inheritance zones and droplet zones because you're not fighting a spot as the entire time. So this is the amount of damage he's going to deal. Shunsui, on the other hand, let's go ahead and figure his out. And I'm going to go ahead and do the math here all together, just, just faster. Uh, so that's that times two because he that's a 100% increase times, let's see what it is on, on droplet zones just for giggles. Uh, ba -ba -ba. so that's 0.3. This is how much it is. 2.3, is that right? Sure. All right, 35.23. So that's 35.23. And now we're multiplying that. Let's see here. Times this killer times 100. <laughs> oh my gosh. 70.47. That's how much damage he would do. 70.47. We're just going to leave that there. There we go. So in a droplet zone... With, this is the final thing, in a droplet zone, if Shun Sui gets his attack increased by 100%, and Sajin gets his attack increased by 100%, and all and both of them have all normal attack links of 20-20-20, Shun Sui's gonna win against the wrong cars. It's just gonna be better against the wrong cars, damage-wise. And in, 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 in uh, Senkaimon, if you're going up against the wrong cars, you're gonna wanna take Sh uh, Sh Shun Sui. Just, it's just a better option. Because most of the time, your killer is multiplied by a large amount. Sometimes it isn't multiplied, sometimes it's only two or three, in which case you do want to take Sajin. But if it's, and really, if it's three, you might want to take Shunsui anyway. But really, anything like five or higher, yeah, Shunsui is the better option. Because it's just, it just makes more sense against Arankars. That's my logic behind these videos, that's my logic behind some of these. That's why, that's why I kind of put flurry characters. Uh, not, I don't want. I don't hold them back, but I try to place them where I think they go because having flurry isn't everything. It's it's great in PvP, but in PVE, it's starting to look like it's a better option to just have a good killer because you know for the tougher stuff that's where it's gonna matter. That the good killer is gonna matter more than having flurry on a character. And that's 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 how I kind of do things. Now I, <laughs> that's assuming I did all my math correctly. There's a good chance that the killer gets applied somewhere in here, but I think this is correct. I think that's how the, the damage gets calculated. And that's why I, uh, I kind of prefer having a character with a better killer than I do Flurry, honestly. Um, Flurry is nice because it hits twice on characters like Kenny and characters like Yama. You have double chance of inflicting a status element on your normal attack, but it's really, you know, that's kind of the better advantage there. For a character that's ranged and hits his, their normal attacks hits twice anyway, you're gonna have that also, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Ooh, that's a long video. Hope it makes sense. I know it probably didn't for a lot of people because this is math, and honestly, math is the worst. It's not really a, a, a you problem, it's the fact that it's math, and math sucks. Um, but that's, you know, that's how way math works. Obviously, if you have, uh, if you have, um, you know, the attribute advantage, uh, it's, it's gonna be a little bit different. These, this, these were both the same attributes, so I figured it'd be the same for both of them. Um, the only thing I can see that's probably a little bit better is when uh, when, Shun, when Sajin here gets a critical. The critical gets applied, I think, twice. I'm not sure if each one gets its own thing or, or what, but even then, you know, having a, a higher attack damage on, you know, when your killer is multiplied by 10 sometimes, it's, it's probably better. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Sorry it went on for way too long. Sorry if it didn't make sense to you guys. I just kind of wanted to talk about Flurry versus uh, Arankar Killer or any killer. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. I better go finish my daily stuff. Take care.